Um, I just wanted to put together a quick video to give you some instructions on how to access all this stuff and what to do with it uh, in case you were not here for the, the live class that we did on Google Meet. So um, first of all, you're going to come to your Google Classroom like I've got set up here. <clears throat> this is 2A, but it doesn't matter. It's the same for all the classes. Uh, you'll scroll down past this welcome kit here into week 15, which is this week here. So the first step that I want you to do is to open up this handout for the fall of Rome simulation. So you'll scroll down and you'll find right here, it's a Google slide. I mentioned in the um, stream tab earlier today that it would be a Kami assignment, but I was wrong. It's actually a Google slide assignment. So um, everyone should be able to do this. There should be no issues with using Google Slides for anybody because um, Google Slides is part of the uh, sort of uh, Google suite that the school has set up for every student. So um, should not be a problem. Um, go over here, click on Handout for the Fall of Rome. And what you'll see is a, you'll see what looks like this. Um, can you stop the Fall of Rome? And it gives some information up here. Now this slide uh, for each of you is editable, but only in certain ways. So for example, you click around here, nothing happens. But if you click where it says type here, you can uh, get rid of this text and type something in that box. Try not to delete that text box on accident. Um, it won't let you make a new one. But if you do delete it, that's okay. Just um, grab a piece of paper or something, write down what you would have written in there, take a picture of it with your phone or whatever you use to take pictures, and then uh, upload that and attach it uh, with the assignment when you're done. So uh, if you do mess up, no big deal, but you know, just try not to accidentally delete that whole text box. Um, so you're going to open this up and then you're going to come back to our Google Classroom. You're going to um, get into the materials. So materials for the Fall of Rome simulation. First thing I want you to do is open up this Emperor Profiles. So that again is a, another slide. Um, <clears throat> so once you get to uh, this slide, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to push present. It'll bring up uh, what looks like this. And then you're going to choose randomly, choose one of these emperors randomly. You can see when you hover over it, it turns into like a little hand looking thing. You'll click on one. Um, each of them is the profile of a different Roman emperor, um, but it won't tell you who it was, uh, and it's only going to give you a teensy bit of information. So um, click on one of those. It will take you to another slide where it will tell you about that emperor. Once you've done that, come over here, and where it says, uh, what did your emperor's profile say? You're going to paraphrase. You don't need to type it in word for word. If you want to, that's fine, but you can just type in the gist of, of who your emperor is. Give your emperor a name. It doesn't have to be their actual name. Uh, I don't expect anybody to know the actual names of all these different emperors. That's fine. Imagine they had a social media account. What kind of person do you think this emperor would be? What kind of stuff do you think they would have in their bio? Um, and then do you think they would make a good leader? Why or why not? Now, there's not always going to be some information in that little blurb about your emperor telling you whether or not they're good. This is where you just have to think. You have to use your brain a little bit, say, okay, based on what this information tells me, is this emperor a good emperor or not? Um, once you're done, uh, go back to the, uh, back to your classwork slide, click here on the treasury cards so you click on that and the same thing. Um, once it's open, you'll click on present and it will look like this. Then you've got to pick one of these. I'm not gonna pick one because I want it to be a surprise for you which one you end up with. Um, they all have different amounts of money in them. So once you're done with that, you'll go back to your handout and type that money in here. That's how much you're starting with. Um, so once you've sort of completed this first page, Come back to your classwork, open up this, and it says PowerPoint, you can open it in Google Slides also, works just fine. Um, 
depending on which class, some of the classes say Google Slides, some of them say PowerPoint. I'm not really sure why. Um, either way, either way is fine. You can open it with either one. Uh, I've opened it with Google Slides here. Um, and this is what it looks like on that first uh, at the beginning. So um, you're going to come down. The questions start here. So what you'll see on your handout, and it's probably a good idea to have your handout open uh, alongside with this slideshow because on page two, starting on page two of your handout, you're going to have, um, it's a question, and then it'll say your answer or decision, and then it'll say the result. So this is a simulation, and the goal is to end up with as much money as possible. Some decisions that you make will lead to negative amounts of money, and some will lead to positive amounts of money. Some will lead to no change at all. Um, it's just how some of them go. So each decision that we come across along the way will give us either positive, negative, or a neutral amount of money. So um, in here, you're going to type in your answer or your decision to each question. And then you will type the result, which is going to be the amount of money. And if you'd like, you can even keep like a running total to say, okay, I lost 500 gold on the last question. I gained 300 gold on this question, so now I'm at negative 200, and, and so on. Okay, so each question, you're going to come up here, and in the slideshow, it's going to say, it's going to list out the question. Do you have more than 600 gold coins in your treasury? You'll look over at your treasury, and then you'll say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Um, once you say, you know, like, if, it, if you don't, it will say, here's what happens, okay? If you do, uh, it'll say, you know, here's what happens, and then here's the result. So you see, you must pay 100 gold pieces to repair the damage. That's going to be negative 100, right? So um, look out for words like that, like pay or gain, things like that. Those are positive and negative words. Um, so you're going to go to your handout. You're going to record uh, your answer. So do you have more than 600 gold pieces? Uh, depending on what you picked when you picked your treasury card, it'll be either yes or no. And then the result, you type that here. Some of these questions, the wording is a little bit tricky. So for example, on this one, more than 600 gold pieces. If your treasury card says 600 exactly, then the answer is going to be no, you do not have more than 600. Does that make sense? So you'll fill this out, and as you go through the slideshow, you'll see that there's more questions and more questions, and some of these questions, most of them are not a yes or no answer. Some of them are uh, have two options. Some of them have three options. Some of them have four options. Um, and you'll just have to pick which one you think is going to be the best. Now, keep in mind, the goal is to get money. So on one hand, you do want to pick things that you think will get you more money. However, on the other hand, you do need to think about them closely because some things might seem like they're going to get you more money and in the end uh, ends up being a bad thing. So anyway, uh, you'll go through, once you get done with your third page, um, you'll see that uh, there are some questions here at the bottom. What did you, how did you do? List some of the problems your emperor encountered. Which of these problems did the real Roman emperors face? Uh, I'll give you a hint, most of them, pretty much all of them, because uh, these are all taken from real situations that Roman emperors were put in. Uh, so fill out this handout, and this is your assignment. Um, one thing to note before we finish out, uh, some of them will say things like, um, okay, emperor profile. When it says that, you'll look back at the, the profile that you picked in your emperor profiles, this one. And then uh, what you'll do is it will say, are you a little mentally unstable? Or uh, did you kill someone to gain power? So then on the slide, it will list out like things. So with the mentally unstable one, it'll say you dress up like Hercules or you, um, you accidentally set Rome on fire or something like that. If your profile specifically lists one of those things that it says on the yes list, then your answer is yes. If it says something else, but it, like, it seems like maybe it fits, the, fits into that description, but it doesn't list it straight out, then your answer is no. 
So it will tell you which ones is yes and which ones are no, basically. Um, for example, uh, did you kill someone to gain power? If your profile talks about killing someone, but it doesn't necessarily say that you killed them in order to gain power, then the answer is no. Um, and it will say when you, when you, for the yes answer, it'll say you did this or this or this, then that would be a yes answer. If your profile looks iffy, but it doesn't really say one of those things, then the answer is no. All right. Um, okay. So last thing, uh, we do not have class on Wednesday or Thursday this week. I'm assuming you're going to be watching this video on today, which is Tuesday. Uh, if you watch it later, then you'll probably already know this, but just so you know, uh, we will not have uh, class work again for any of our classes uh, until Monday next week. And that's because of the Veterans Day holiday. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, this handout is due. This is what is your assignment for this class. It's due by Monday at 8 a.m. If you have any questions on it, please feel free to email me or uh, get in touch with me. And um, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a great weekend.